If you're a content creator looking to make your background a little more effective with color changing light, that's actually going to take up a good amount of your wall space so that you do not have to have a ton of different lighting. You don't have to invest in high end professional lighting, but you get a lot of really great coverage and the ability to change those colors. I found something that's going to work for us. And this is really nice because it is a vertical corner lamp. That means you can move it around your house. It also works really, really well to accent your house when you're not recording your videos. So if you're having a, an at home TV night, this is gonna be really great for giving you that atmosphere. If you're doing a fun date night in, this can also give you some fun atmosphere, but I love it because it works so well inside of my content creation. Now, right now, I do not have any other lights on other than this vertical freestanding lamp. And you can see it's kind of near my TV. I have it out just a little bit so you can tell the difference. And you can see it is in a green color. It does come with this nice little remote and it does allow me to then change my colors so I can pick what color background I'm going to want. And depending on your ambient lighting, so if you're using natural light for a window or a ring light or something like that, it will make it more intense or drown it out a little bit. So placing your lights and learning to place your other lights can intensify or change the mood of the colors that you were going to be doing. So you can just kind of cycle through whichever colors you were going to want with that. And then based on your environment and your wall, it will look a little bit different. So you get to test it out, but they also have different versions that will allow it to move in different ways so that you can kind of do different colors. It's gonna move up and down. You can change the brightness level. So dim it down. You can also bump that up and then you can go back to your solid color. So there's a lot that comes with this in terms of functionality for your videos. You can place this either directly behind you and it will illuminate both sides of you. You could place it like I did next to something where it's gonna blend in a little bit. And depending on where you're setting it, it can actually look like it's part of whatever you have going on there. You can move it away from it and make it more of an accent. So you have a lot of options with this. There's a lot that you can be doing to make this what you need it to be. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make this a different color because I really like there we go, changing that up, making it pop just a little bit more. And if you get two of these, you can put one on either side of your video screen. So imagine if I had a second one of these, I would put it off camera right here and one off camera right here. And those are both shine inward so that I could illuminate both sides of that wall. And I really like this because if you are using just like color changing light bulbs, like I teach you in some of the other videos and you have them hidden behind you, it does sometimes miss sections of the wall. So this one goes all the way to the floor. If you are standing that's going to illuminate all the way down to the floor the other thing is i could take this and i could put it on the desk behind me so that it goes all the way up to the top of my screen this entire section here would be filled with color so there's a lot of different options when it comes to how you use this you can put it on a table on the corner of a table you could put it on the floor and the nice thing is it's just this little like triangle stand so it's the pole that goes straight down and then it has a 90 degree metal pole on either side and that's what keeps it up. So then all you have to do is plug it in. You can run those wires along your wall and you can either put it around like a desk corner like I did, or you can set it directly in the corner and it will shine at the wall and then illuminate and reflect that light throughout the corner of your space. And so you have a lot of light that you can work with with this one. And it's as simple as just pressing this. You don't even have to have this on camera. You can just lower this and you can change it as needed. So if you don't like the speeds of the settings that they have for the color changing, you can sit here while you're having the conversation and just hold it down low so that the camera doesn't see it and you can change it as fast or as slow as you need. And once you get used to the color wheel, you'll actually know where those colors are. So if you're having a conversation direct to camera, you can just switch it to whatever mood you're going to need it to be. So this is really easy to put together. It literally came as the single pull and then you just had to slide on the metal sides, the little feet, and there are little tiny screws that you just screw in real quick. They send everything that you need. It took me maybe two minutes to set this up and that was with reading the directions and figuring out what I was doing. So very, very simple, is incredibly lightweight. I do recommend keeping the packaging that it came in if you plan on moving any time in the next bit of time. If you plan on moving the next year or two, I would hang on to that. I am planning on moving soon. And so I hung on to it because it is going to protect it. It comes in a really nice little protective tube and that allows you to then pop it back into travel. So it's very simple to take this apart if you're going to be moving it around or if you need to, you know, move across state lines or something, you are going to be able to just pop off those legs, pop it into the tube and you are good to go. But this is a really nice, effective way of 
changing your lighting and you don't need too many other lights. You can see this would work really well by itself. If I had a second one of this, this would work really, really well. In tandem with my other lights that I typically have on, this really just fills out everything that I need and makes everything pop. So you're going to see this more and more inside of my videos. Sometimes you'll see it sticking out a little bit because I like that look. I like to let you know that there's some lights there. But I also, if I hadn't been playing with it, I could tuck it up against my my desk so that it was actually just like this and you couldn't really tell too much. You would see it just stick up just a little bit. It would look kind of aesthetic. And so there's options for this. And of course, your placement is going to determine how it looks. So one more time, you can put it directly behind you and nobody can see it because it is kind of short. Even if you're sitting, I'm currently sitting in a chair. You can see right there. And I am taller than that. And so that would block the whole thing. You can see how that light would wrap around. You can put it in your corners, you can put them off to the side, you can put it on the side to illuminate a section, whatever is going to work best for you. And I also really like the idea of getting it up higher, so putting it on a desk to illuminate more of those spaces where those color changing light bulbs would not work. But you have a lot of options with them, I'll link it down below. Special thanks to Lowe's for sending this to me to try out for this video. This has been a really fun experience, but this is not the only light that they sent me. They actually sent me another set. You do not want to miss out. This is in an upcoming video, so follow along for more as we continue to help you find find effective ways to decorate your content creator space to help you stand out on social media so that you can stop the scroll, start more conversations, and be more profitable this year with the content you are creating. We'll see you in those upcoming episodes.